I don't think he's gonna die. <laughs> no, he could get hurt. He did behave in his last fight. You recall a decision over Arlen Norris, but he was very cautious, Bobby, and plain dull. Can he take that same tact, that same approach, and be successful against a guy like Tyson? That type of approach, that type of performance will get him annihilated and annihilated early. I don't think it's possible. He said he was hurt in that fight. He had some problems under his left arm by his ribcage. I don't think it's possible to fight anything even remotely close to that and survive, never mind win. There's an explanation for Galata's tardiness. Let's get it from Jim Gray. Well, there's been some controversy the last day and a half, according to the promoters of this fight, Tommy Hearns and Dan Goosen. Andrew Galata did not want to wear the Everlast gloves. He wanted to wear a different brand of gloves. He was not happy with the ones that were picked out for him by the commission that he had to select at the meeting. And up until the last minute, he had refused to put them on, and they finally convinced him to put them on and come out and fight. Steve? Thanks, Jeb. Everlast wore of a boxer's glove. I'll tell you what, I think that this glove is better for Galata and not as good for Mike. If I were Mike, I'd want the raise. I'd want the power puncher's glove. I don't understand. Let's go back to Jimmy Lennon Jr. to bring on Mr. Tyson. And now, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring to the music of Cash Money recording artists, Cash Money millionaires, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the one and only Iron Mike Tyson. ruled a technical draw. If it happens after the end of round five, they go to the scorecard. So here at the Palace of Auburn Hills, better than 16,000 on hand, ready for the main event, Mike Tyson versus Andrew Galata. The official introductions from our ring announcer, the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening, a heavyweight showdown scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. And now, Ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world live from the Palace of Auburn Hills, it's showtime! Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, entering the ring wearing white trunks with red trim, 
fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, by way of Warsaw, Poland. He weighed in at an even 240 pounds with a record of 36 wins, four losses. He has 29 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the WBC number nine ranked heavyweight contender, introducing the hard-hitting Andrew Galata. across the ring on my left fighting out of the red corner really needing no introduction the world over entering the ring wearing his traditional black trunks and hailing from Catskill New York he weighed in at 222 pounds with a record of 48 wins three losses and one no contest he has 42 big wins coming by way of knockout Ladies and gentlemen, here is the youngest man ever to capture the world title, the two-time heavyweight champion of the world, introducing the one and only Iron Mike Tyson! And once again, ladies and gentlemen, our referee in charge, Frank Garza, now to give instructions. Ten rounds of boxing scheduled in this our main event of the evening. Only the chief second and the boxer in the ring. Everybody else has to be out. Only the chief second. Only the chief second. Only the chief second. Stacy, I personally I think it's ridiculous. I think the referee is waiting for everybody to get out of the ring, except for the chief second, which are the trainers and the fighters themselves. It's a familiar okay, sight Tommy. of Tyson pacing like a caged tiger, and uh, already before the fight starts, Frank Garza. Okay, guys. I can see Mike's belly button right there, and that's going to be the line. So anything on his trunks or cups, I'm going to consider a low blow. His is up a little high. His belly button's right there, so I'm going to give Mike right here that red line. You got it? Okay. We already went through all the directions in the dressing room. Do you have any questions? No questions. Any questions no in this questions. corner? Let's okay, do gentlemen, right. let's, let's do, do it right. right. Touch them up. May the best man win. Guards are looking to take charge from the outset. 21 of Tyson's 42 knockouts in the first round. Fastest KO, 30 seconds with Barbas Frazier. Second fastest, 37 seconds. Robert Collet, the third. His last fight, 38 seconds. Lou Savarese. Galata, stand-up boxer, big right hand, deliberate yet busy. Looks to wear you down, but will he be around long enough to find out if he can? Can he keep his composure? Mark. This Here we go. Galata looks a little soft in the belly, too, Steve. Trying to get that jab, trying to get through this first round. Tyson, as usual, comes out winging. We haven't seen Galata's right yet. Galata's standing, you see him, his legs are a little stiff. And he's looking at, looks like he's looking to load up the right hand, and you can hear his corner yelling toward the right hand, but he looks really tight. Behind the jet, there he started throwing. Let him go. My break, my break. A lot of definitely more skill than some of Tyson's recent opponents. My break. That's, he is big. I'm watching it. He is a big target, and Mike's got a lot of man to work with in front of him. He's throwing some big body shots, but not throwing any hard punches at all. 
obviously looking to resurrect his aura of invincibility. Rob's not really using any of the leverage either. He's staying too straight, he's not bending. He's not using that height and that reach. He's slapping a lot. He's still afraid. Head. Chopping right cross. He's tapping a little bit. He's not really unloading with any big shots. Break. Break. Let him go. Galata Don't push. Has yet to feel the extreme impact, the power. Okay, of step back, both of you. Step back quickly. Step back. My break. Now showing the big wide right okay, hand. Okay, no body wrestling. Steve. No wrestling. Let him go. Keep it clean. No wrestling. We approach the final 30 seconds. Get him up, Andrew. Get him up. Let one. him go. Let him go. Let There's him go. A cut. Left side of the face over the left eye of the line. Nice right hand by Mike over the top, too. He did it again. Working that cut. And a left hook to the head by Tyson. Up his head. Up his head. Nope. Nope. Rep is doing an excellent job, Steve. Just missed with that overhand. Right. He had bad intentions all over that one. 
Steve. That was a hit there. Throwing the pass for this end zone. Okay, step back. Step back, step back. No punching. Step back, step back. Mike's got to work in behind no the punching. double jab. It's gonna, it'll stop Andrew from holding him so easy. See, the lot of slapping here. He can't hurt Mike with that. Let He's going go. backward and Let still go. punching. Feet are all bounced, not planted, step not delivering, turning his hips and shoulders in. Not going to hurt anybody with that. And he seems fearful to throw his right hand for fear of what might be coming back. Up. Andrew, get him up. My break. My break. Get him up. That was an accident. You Mike's okay? showing these little over right. here. That big right hand got all, all souped up. That was an accident. He's not bobbing and weaving behind the jab. He's bobbing and weaving, but not behind the jab, which is allowing a lot of time up, Steve. Yeah. You're messing it with that right hand because you're looping it. Throw it straight to catch it. Real relax. How you feel? Yeah. Real relax. Ah. Check this out. Keep show him that just like we worked on in, in the locker room. Show him that jab and step on it. Okay? Step to the right, fire right. Real relax, Michael. Obviously, Tyson has to get inside. Here he comes, trying to get inside. But as soon as he does, look at the line. He's just. He's going to hold on for dear life because he's been hurt. What are you doing? What are you fucking do this? You're going oh, to disgrace yourself. He wants to go on. He wants to quit. He quit. Andrew, what are you doing? Last second, the bell's going to ring. He said it a little more colorfully than that, Steve. I'm telling you right now, Soto's excited, he's upset, and I'll tell you what, it was a better round considering the first round was on his but you won't know until you taste the power of a puncher like a Tyson, a puncher like a Tua. What you have inside you, and now we know Andrew Gallardo, will not deal with it, not deal with it well. And you hear the crowd reacting. I said I'd be real surprised if this got into round four, and I was not wrong. Somebody just threw something in the ring that splattered all over us. The couple soda. The Galata corner is just distraught with this decision by their man, Andrew Galata. He wants to get the, the heck out of here. He's coming near us now, gets away. People are throwing things at him. They're throwing popcorn, soda, beer, everything that they can. Unbelievable of Auburn Hills. The lot of being escorted off as fans throw things at him after he quits at the end of two rounds. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Now, let's hope this doesn't really get out of hand now. It's getting very ugly here now as they hustle him out into the back area. To see. Listen, I'll tell you what. You want to go down and go on your shield? On your, sh no, me, on your, your shield? Okay, but I cannot buy quitting Okay. The second round was a better round for Galad. He got to Mike a little bit, tied him up, was starting to do what he wanted to do, get to the fourth or fifth. Put my leg back on. An outrageous display of cowardice by Andrew Galata. Right, right. Let's get it over to Jim Gray. Mike has decided to uh, leave the ring. We're going to go back into the uh, locker room and try and speak with him then. Uh, ice is pouring out. There's been a lot of coins thrown into the ring, and I just think that uh, he wants to leave before uh, the situation becomes any worse. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has be, been ended at the end, at the beginning of round number three. Galata refusing to enter the combat at round three. Referee in charge, Frank Garza, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, Iron Mike Tyson. So there's the official announcement by Jimmy Lennon Jr. to a chorus of boos here at the Palace. Fans just uh, irate at what they just saw. Andrew Galata quitting at the beginning of round three. He refused to come out. He was being urged to uh, change his mind by his corner, led by Al Serto, his trainer. Despite that, despite that uh, urging, he said, that's it, I don't want to go That anymore. was a little more than an urging, it was a command. Well, well, he told him to go out there and fight, and he refused. 
Let's go back and hear exactly what happened between rounds. Fight out that left piece. Throw that right fucking hand. Hey, Don't you dare! Don't you fucking do dare, dare, you cocksucker! You're, you're gonna win this fight! You're gonna win this fight! Watch his mouth, please! Come on, quick! Take a deep breath! Come on, Andre! Come on, Andre! Come on, Andre! Stop it! Shut up! Don't talk like that! Stop it! Stop it! Don't talk like that! Stop it! Stop it. Stop it. Come on, you fuck you! You're gonna fight and you're gonna win this fight! You're gonna win this fight! You're gonna win! You ain't quitting! You're gonna win this fight! Cut it out! Stop yeah, it, Andre! Now pull it! Pull the people out there! Andre, cool the fuck does the matter with you? Come on! Come Stop on, it, Andre! Please! Come on, Andre! Get the fuck out of here! Come on! Give me the one I'm fucking doing there! Stay there! I don't have a day to go! Hey! You stay there! Stay there! Stop it, Andre! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. Stop it! Don't you, do don't you fucking do this! No. Don't disgrace yourself! You gotta get in your corner, Andrew. What? He quit. quit. What are you doing? Last second, the bell's gonna ring. Unbelievable animated graphic stuff from trainer Al Cerdo. Bobby says, what do you make of that wild sequence? I mean, have you ever seen anything like this before? Steve, I've never seen a fight between a trainer and a fighter to continue fighting where the trainer wants them to, and he doesn't want to. He's either hurt, or he's scared, or he's a whole lot of both. And Galata actually wanted to stop the fight after round one, and again after round two. Let's go to Bill Boggs in the dressing room. Okay, we're here in Andrew Galata's dressing room. We got trainer Al Cerdo. <clears throat> promoter Ray Shaw, but let, let's talk to the man himself. Mr. Galata, Andrew, the crowd is stunned. They can't believe it. What happened? First of all, it wasn't my day today, but I got a headbutt. Uh, a referee didn't re no, I respond pretty, pretty much well as, as he's as supposed to. He but you're a warrior, warrior, Andrew. You're a fighter. warn him. But you're a, you're a fighter. The, the crowd pays. Business in, the, in, the, in my head, I said. What, what made you dizzy? Was it that first it knockdown? Head, no, what, no, what about the knockdown? Did you did you really recover from that knockdown at the end of the first round? Actually, I was just slip. You know, I I I, I hadn't been hit very well. And I just I, you know, I was slip, I was slip on the down and then and that's it. I I I, I stood up. <clears throat> what do you say to the people who are driving home now? The people who spent the 49.95 for the pay-per-view, the people who were rooting for you, your fans and boxing fans all over the world, at this great and grave disappointment to the sport. Listen, boxing is a very, very difficult sport, you know, and I'm sorry for 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 all.